Okay, so I'm going to talk a little bit about graphing and ratios. Again, ratios are a comp comparison of two things. So like, for instance, you could say for every five cups of water is two scoops of powdered lemonade. Uh, and so we're going to look at how could you turn that into a graph and then why might you use a graph of a ratio. Um, often when you're doing graphs of ratios, they're going to be things that kind of scale. So like you could do four cups of water, six cups of water like that could grow. It's not usually like a comparison of two different things like two red to three blue. Um, but we'll, we'll keep going. So five cups of water to scoops of powdered lemonade. Um, to graph that first, we're going to make a little table with at least three values for that ratio. So I'm going to put water on the left side of my table. and I'm going to put the lemonade mix on the right side. And so that means if I had five cups of water, I would have two scoops of lemonade mix. I want to come up with another value that would also be true. We could double it. We could say if you had 10 cups of water, that would have four scoops of lemonade mix. We could have also like half this. And we could say, well, if I had 2.5 cups of water, I would require one scoop of lemonade mix. And then um, I'm going to take right here and I'm going to decide we'll do the lemonade mix, lemonade mix right here. Um, and then we'll do the water right here. Sorry, it's a little sloppy. Um, so I labeled, I made a graph and I labeled it. I want to make sure it fits the required scale. So we see the water, the biggest number I need for water is 10. My graph goes to 10 for lemonade mix, four, I could definitely make it there. If I had something that was much bigger, I might even want to count by a different scale. So if I had to go to 100, I might do like count by tens or something like that. So I have my graph, fits the scale. I want to plot those points. So since water is right here, that's my x-axis. Lemonade is my y, that's my y-axis. So I'm going to put a point at 5, 2. So I'm going to go over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Water is 2 lemonade mix. And now let's see another one. If we had 10 water, that would be four lemonades. I'm going to go over to 10 water, my X, and then I'm going to go up to four lemonade. And my last one, if I had two and a half water, 2.5 water, that's one lemonade. So I'm going to go to two and a half. Remember when you're graphing, you always count on the line. So one, two and a half, and then it goes up one right here. Um, next thing I want to do is I want to connect those points uh, with a line. So I'm going to use a ruler real quick and just kind of connect those together. Now you should see that they're going in a straight line um, for these types of ratios where it's a, a linear relationship. Okay, so I'm just drawing my line. I'm going to even put a little arrow on the side because it could kind of keep going. If my graph is zigzaggy or jumps up or down, that means I probably made a mistake and you can maybe even actually find which point you made the mistake on because that's the one that doesn't fit in that line. Um, so now, um, I've got I've got my graph, I've got my ratio, if that's all I had to do, then I'd be done. But you might end up with some sort of a situation where someone says, okay, well, what if you had um, three scoops of lemonade mix? About how much water would that require? Now, you could do the math with here, or you could just look at your ratio line. So if I look at three for my lemonade mix, I'm going to put just like a little dotted line to show you where I'm following. I'm following where that, until that hits the diagonal line right here, and so it hits it right about here, and I'm gonna go drop straight down. And we can see that that's at about seven and a half or 7.5. So that's also sometimes you might be given a graph of a ratio and said, oh, well, if you have this, then about how much of that? So that's what you could even use the graph for. Um, so all we gotta do, we start with our ratio. We come up with a couple of values, at least three. So that's gonna give you that line. If you And then make sure your scale fits, plot those points connect the line or connect the dots and uh, that's all there is to it.